Yeah, the weather's not good today. Sorry. <laughs> 721 on a Friday. Welcome back to BT. Hey, you, Tash. Mayor Brad. Sam sitting with you. This is expertise. There's a lot. It's, it's, it's going to be a windy day. A yeah. ton of rain. It's yeah. just it's, the, the, the water Wind will chill. Cool. Wind yeah. chill. Yeah, it's a little chill. soupy out. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe things, things get a little wintry outside of the GTA, a little north. Right. Just be careful yeah. driving wherever you are. Um, as we talked about a lot this morning, the big news yesterday, O.J. Simpson, it was announced by his family, passed away at the age of 76 after losing a battle with cancer. The news was released yesterday. He passed away two days ago. Former NFL great stood trial for double murder of his ex-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, and her friend, Ron Goldman, only to be acquitted in 1995. In a civil decision in 97, Simpson was found liable for their deaths and ordered to pay a little over $33 million in damages. Uh, the family did not see a ton of that money. In 2007, Simpson was arrested after he and a group of men entered a Vegas hotel room and took memorabilia items that Simpson claimed had been stolen from him. Simpson was eventually charged with armed robbery and kidnapping and eventually, after serving some time, was released on parole. Uh, also, and I know in terms of priorities of this story, it is not near the top, he was a Hall of Fame football player. That is how people first got to know him at USC with the Buffalo Bills. Then, in terms of the marketing world, he was a darling of Wall Street for a while in Madison Avenue. And then he was a broadcaster for NBC for many years. And that, that is the story that has been told here numerous times about O.J. Simpson. Um, we all have places we go first. We all have the initial memories. Uh, Mayor, where do you go first? I mean, he was just... Uh he was such a lightning rod for so many conversations that uh, are, you know, tipping point conversations in terms of racism, in terms of misogyny, in terms of wealth, in terms of sporting culture, and, uh, and, and in terms of being the birth of reality television. I mean, that Bronco chase will go down as really the beginning of where we find ourselves now in terms of our obsession with watching real things happen to real people. Um, it, it just, it was very interesting to see everyone's reaction yesterday with that news of his passing and how viscerally people still respond to him. Yeah, and, and I remember, what I remember, because Sid was saying yesterday morning, reading his full name, yeah. Lanthal James mm -hmm. Simpson, and uh, that instantly, even hearing his full name instantly gives me that reaction, brings me right back to when the verdict was read and I was like in grade 10 listening on a radio to this verdict being read and I can tell you uh, that in that classroom there absolutely was a racial divide as there was globally watching this verdict come down. It came down right after Rodney King's verdict. Um, it came down as well and that was, uh, you know, setting, it, it set off a divide that I didn't think would be as deep as it, it was and to the point where I was even one saying, oh, okay, whew, thank goodness he was acquitted. I, there was a moment there. Mm -hmm. And I look back at it. That's how far the divide was because of the racism and the racial undertones in, during this entire trial and what was happening in L.A., that there's that moment. I, of course, as years went on, went, oh, my goodness. How could, we, how could we miss it, especially when he wrote that book, oh. If I Did It, and tried to make money off of the murder of the, the, the mother of that his kids. That happened, by the that's, way. That's a real look thing. Look it up, yeah. some of our younger 2006, viewers. If I Did yeah. It, wrote, wrote a, book. a fictional he, book about the possibility of what he was tried for. Right, I mean, exactly. Wow. So it is. it, it just goes to show how much that trial itself really uh, had that impact, not just on us, those who are alive right now, we're alive at the time, but kids, uh, any judge show you watch, Judge Judy, anything like that, it all came from that trial. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we, we actually, you, you, you both brought it up, we have the exact moment where reality television actually began. I, I was watching this. This was game five of the NBA Finals in 1994, Houston Rockets and New York Knicks in Madison Square Garden. They go to commercial break, and 84-year-old, uh, currently 84-year-old Tom Brokaw breaks in. This is, you want to know where reality television started? Right here. 6.39 remaining in this first half, Knicks by two. We are looking at live pictures of Interstate 5 in Los Angeles. We believe that that white vehicle, which is being trailed by... And TV would never 
be the same. Again, 100 million people around North America watched this. 150 million people a year later watched the verdict come down in the trial. Uh, it's, it is, you, we cannot talk enough about the significance of this moment in terms of our pop culture, in terms of the medium of television, and what it has done for better and for worse. The last thing I want to say is, I, and I know I'm speaking for everyone here, um, the, the topic of domestic violence that continues to be the, one of the scourges of our society, it has not changed from that story to today. Like, we, we have a situation right now in Queens Park where intimate partner violence is there's a bill on the table to call it an uh, epidemic and hopefully they move that through quickly 58 women died in ontario last year due to intimate partner violence this story has not changed since 1994 at all and of all the things that got talked about yesterday we still have to talk about this right at the top because the, with with every significant story that was with it and all of them completely valid this one i feel still doesn't doesn't see the daylight it should amongst everything else with O.J. Simpson, who was, was deemed criminally responsible for the death of two people, including his ex-wife. There's so much here. We appreciate the feedback coming in. Keep it coming in, because this is not an easy thing to dissect in about six or seven minutes. And uh, we're trying here, and, and I, think, I think we got most of it in. Please keep it coming in. Uh, feedback at breakfasttelevision.ca. We're going to take a break. More BT coming up after the break. Tammy's got news also coming up.